Let's so be very quick. How many of you right here know about TAS? Taylor County Accelerated School? Clap, clap, clap. Oh, good, good. All right, this going to be very quick. We're going to talk about our reading emphasis. 30 to 20, 45 minutes will be dedicated to our reading each and every day at TAS, for all TAS students. As you know, we use APEX as our platform. Their kids are reading all the time anyway. So but we're going to dedicate 30 to 45 minutes to intensive reading with pull-outs with our the teachers. <clears throat> of course, uh, we're going to be focused on our uh, tier two students. Those students need a lot bit more help uh, in reading in regard to small group. And then our most intensive group is what really, really, really need reading. And not all of them, but these folks need a lot of help, which is our tier two. They have been identified through uh, data. So we'll be using that as well to be able to do what we have to do to move their um, reading uh, rate up. Also, you see on there, talk about uh, our vocabulary journals. We're going to require them to have vocabulary journals for each class. And if they write down in their journal a word they do not know, uh, either through a book they read or magazine or newspaper or on Apex, they'll get points. And that points will reward them to go to rewards when we'll talk about that in a few minutes. I hope everybody's familiar with iReady. So most of our students are going to be sixth to eighth grade. Uh, so those students are with me are, are, at, are at risk. We're going to try to get them back at the park so we can go back to their home school, which is the middle school. Okay? Any questions about that? Any questions? If not, we're going to segue right into our, our attendance emphasis. Y'all know that attendance, you, if you can't be at your spot, at your school, in front of the teacher, you cannot be taught. Y'all understand that, right? So that includes parents getting students to, to and from school which is important for them to be taught properly. So, so we're gonna try to <clears throat> reward kids for being on time. If you're on time, you're late. Y'all heard it before, right? You're on time, you're late, and you're before time, you're on time. That's what we're gonna try to do. All right, so they are cure points when they're not tardy to go to the rewards room. That's a great room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what's in there, but it's a waste of my time right there to tell you, but they're gonna enjoy it. They're gonna tell you about it. All right, so also our emphasis is going to be on our students grade, uh, by grade level. They have to compete with each other based on that grade level. Sixth graders against seventh graders, and of course, eighth grade as well. And then, of course, uh, incentives regarding uh, teachers who are coming to school on time with at least 100% uh, um, attendance rate. We're going to recognize in the newspaper other things that we may come up with. I'm going to let the teachers decide that. Then, of course, the last incentive will be students to reach 95, who reach 95 percentile. Um, <clears throat> that means no missing no more than four days out of the uh, nine weeks will be rewarded. Field trips, some type of education field trips. And those who do not meet that, um, that plateau, then, of course, you'll be getting letters at home, warnings, and we're going to do some phone calls. And I hope y'all don't mind me calling, because I will call. Are there any questions about our attendance? Right, we got, now we're going to have some pride.